Alright, let me try. So the Uber dropped us off at this random place. Yeah. So we're about to do some Las Vegas eating here locally. We found this hidden gem online. I don't know if it's a hidden gem, but it's pretty much like a ghost kitchen that has a lot of restaurants, food vendors in there. And this first spot we're gonna try is a vegan spot. Yep, What's vegan for breakfast. Smash me baby. Alright. So there's a lot of options. Look at that. This is a kiosk. You don't get to see any of the food preps or anything. You just you order here and you get the food there. And then you take it to a park. Alright, so Smash My Baby. They got burgers. They got like six different burgers. They're all vegan. And then they have sides of chips, nuggets, and fries. And a drink. So behind this blue wall is where all the magic happens. We got all the food already. It's right here. Oh, look at this. It's not a secret that I'm not a huge vegan fan. But then watching the way they made it, I was like, well, I really gotta try this. Yeah, right here we have three tacos, vegan tacos, purely 100% vegan. Here we got a Swiss and mushroom burger and nuggets and a patty mound. This one is one of the favorites here. We got the mushroom and Swiss burger here. You can see the layers. It's really pretty. Oh. This is gonna be a big fight. Mm, um, yum, yum. Mm. Tastes like a burger? Mm -hmm. Does it taste like a burger? The texture is there. It's flavorful. It's really good. It's one of the best vegan burgers I've ever had. It's not too oily, flavorful. There's other texture in there. Really delicious, actually. This is a vegan burger. Holy cow. The sauce makes it really good too. You're right though, a lot, a lot of times when it's vegan, they try to overpower it with like fatty, greasy stuff to overcompensate. But this is very lean vegan burger. Because the point of vegan is to be healthy, right? So why would you overdo it? And this actually does it right. Wow. So each taco comes with a slice of wine. And there's jalapeno inside, cilantro, cheese, the meat. Let's have some tacos. This meat actually tastes pretty decent, like actual meat. Especially with all the taco flavors. I actually can't tell that it's vegan. Vegan taco, you say? This is a secret sauce? Yeah. Oh. Really good. It's like really healthy too. It's actually made from the same beef patty as like the burger that you had. So I guess the vegan meat is where the magic is at. So these nuggets are super crispy. This might be something special here. That there is secret sauce. You can't tell it's vegan, honestly. It tastes like actual meat nuggets. This is fun to eat too. It's like super crunchy. I could be wrong, but I'm very suspicious of this. It is very crunchy. Huh. I'll say this texture is a little more starchy, but it's a true vegan nugget with like an attitude, I would say. So on to the next one. Wow, what is this, baby? This is a, a patty melt. Oh wow, you don't like this. It's very similar to the burger we had, but it's made with very buttery toast. And the onions are very nice touch on top of it. Honestly, all these foods are supposed to be very heavy, but they actually taste very light. Oh man, this is like grilled cheese, but so much better because there's the patty inside and the onions. Ooh! Mmm, this is really good. This stuff makes you full super fast. And we're having it for breakfast, so we can have energy for the rest of the day. It's not often that we eat vegan stuff, but I gotta say that was probably one of the best vegan spots. I really enjoyed it. It was so good. Now we're walking a <laughs> few blocks over to the next spot. I have no idea what to expect from this place. It's like a handful of slot machines behind me. That's literally everywhere in Vegas. There's like slot machines, there's casinos in every hotel, every restaurant. At least that's what it seems like. But the vibe from here and the strat is very different. But I'm excited to see what the Thai food tastes like here. Oh yeah, I'm so excited. I got Thai food. This place it sells Thai food, Chinese food, Mexican food, American food. A lot of food. So I got the Thai. The Pad like Thai. Alright, the Thai iced tea and the Thai coffee. A lot of Pepsi here. <laughs> <laughs> these are not Pepsi. Interesting. Oh, and there's like a lot of ice in here. It's pretty milky. I'm surprised I never had Thai tea in a Pepsi cup. It's really sweet. That's the way I like it. Thai coffee, huh? It tastes like a melted ice cream shake. Oh, so the coffee is actually really black. All right, after stirring it, it's pretty dark. Let's try it. Mmm, this coffee is so good. These two drinks are legit. It's just in a Pepsi cup. Ooh, I got the Pad Thai combination, beef and shrimp. It's really pretty. Ooh. All right, ready to eat? Let's go. I'm anticipating this will be sweet. It's really good. It's more on the sweet side if you like that. I like that. If you want your Thai food fix, this is the place to be. I think one of the chefs is actually Thai. Either Thai or Viet. So that's how you have reassurance that this Pad Thai should be pretty good. Wow. 
I haven't seen a lot of Thai food around here. I think this place should be known for its secret Thai food. I think it's really good. I'm gonna try the breakfast stuff because I think that's what this place is known for. Five dollar breakfast. This dish, however, is like nine ninety nine, ten bucks, but still looks pretty good. It comes with four sunny side up eggs, toast, hash brown, sausage, and bacon. Nothing too out of the ordinary, just solid, safe breakfast dish. But that Pad Thai dish needs to be blown up on TikTok. <laughs> That'll be like the hidden gem of Las Vegas. Like, oh, you find the best Pad Thai dish in this casino slash fast food breakfast restaurant. Don't be jealous of my dish. Back at the Lucky Three, and we have Mulan here. Hi! <laughs> I'm the owner of the Hangover Cure, and we welcome you. We got pho here, we got the dirty rice, and we got the potato salad. Here you have my 24 plus pho, so it's at 27 hours right now. But it's my own little recipe that I developed from my house. And why is this place called Hangover Cure? <laughs> the concept of the Hangover Cure came up really because I was really hungover one day. <laughs> And I had all these recipes together and we were like, what can we call this thing? And for a long time we didn't have a name and I just woke up super hungover one day and I was like, you know what? I am craving some pho, some fried food. And then I just realized, wait, our menu is fried foods and soup. Like what is better for your hangover than fried foods and soup, right? <laughs> so instead of going to a restaurant, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna make my own restaurant that is just a place to go for your hangover. I'm super excited. I'm to try this spot. It looks darker, so that's different than anything else we've tried before. For my special pho, I roast the bones for about two hours along with all the herbs and everything. And once they're all, you know, toasty and roasted, I add them to the pot and I simmer them for 24 hours to get the most out of those bones. We get the bone marrow out of it. We get all the flavors of like a seared beef into the broth. Because of that extra roasted, it really infuses use the broth with a lot of like warmth and like toast flavors. <laughs> I hope that you can taste that when you try it. Ooh, so much flavor, super umami. This is so good, I love umami. I mean Chinese flavors and Vietnamese flavors are so similar, you know? Oh yeah, it's a lot richer, it's a lot right? richer. Yeah, right away. <laughs> Definitely oh, yeah, stop, I'll save it for later. I'm super excited, I gotta do a noodle pull every time. It looks so good and still steamy. There's a lot of meat in here and usually we don't get served by the chef herself. <laughs> so we're very special. Alright, okay. time! So much flavor, so much umami. It's actually thicker than like the regular pho. Oh yeah, it's meatier. You can taste more charness in it. It makes you want to go back for more. I don't have a hangover right now, but this is perfect like any time of day. You see, Ming has been in Vegas for so long, she's got to put all these stuff in there. I gotta put what in there? The fuss stuff. Shish. I'm gonna try the meat. Oh, wow. I don't know if I told you guys. When I was growing up, my dad had like a shoes out meatball noodle shop. And this brought back so much memory from that. Like the meat is so much flavor, the soup itself. It's still very clean, just like the regular pho. I'm drinking every bit of this pho. Leave no drop behind. Oh my, is this chicken? It looks so good. I love fried chicken. Let's have a great bite. It's so nicely fried. This is my type of fried chicken sandwich. Wow, this is a hefty sandwich. From the look of this, Chick-fil-A, Popeyes, KFC, should be a little nervous. It's huge. Wow, what a crispy, creamy sandwich all in one. Butter bun, quality chicken, pickles, and some cream. I honestly wasn't expecting quality Asian fusion food here in Vegas, but I think all the West Coast California influence is kind of spreading over. I think the food scene in Vegas is gonna have a renaissance really soon. All right, shrimp on a baguette. So they told us that this is unlike anything we've ever tried before. I'm super excited because you know how I love shrimp. And extra pickled vegetables, I love that. Yes, let's go. Oh, hold on, my shrimp fell. There's a big no-no. Yo, save some for me! Mm -mm. You know what? I just want to eat the shrimp by itself. I love the shrimp. This is a great topping. Mmm, they gotta do more of this shrimp bami. I think this is my first time having shrimp as a topping on bami. And it's so freaking good. It's like if lobster rolls a thing, shrimp bami should be a thing. Dang, there's a lot of food to try. On to the next. This is brisket on a baguette. I'm gonna totally make a mess here. What if I eat from the back? Psycho. <laughs> uh oh. 
that's falling apart. Mmm, you would really love this meat. It's very smoked and charry. And I love the mustard too. Alright, let me try. <laughs> This is Spam Masubi. I'm super excited about this. Oh, they fried the Spam. That's different. Okay, I'm gonna eat this on the top first. Psycho. <laughs> just make it a little pretty, you know? Oh, okay, just cleaning it up. Yeah, I'm just cleaning it up. Yum. I've never had fried Spam Masubi before. And this rice is different too. Flavored rice. And just so much flavor in this little seaweed thing. Loving it. Oh no. This would be like an ultimate snack. I think kids really love this. And Asian moms could be like, oh, you got the rice intake from here. The hangover here, they love fried stuff. So they're frying all types of stuff here. I saw some comments online that they have popcorn mushroom. And I was like, I want to try that. This is like chips with a little spice on it. I'm gonna try this one now. Ooh, this is probably the popcorn chicken. I also brought you our Alsia. You can like basically play around and like mix your own yeah. pho, you know? It takes a lot of time and effort to make the broth, so they actually made a set amount for each week. So it's very generous of them to give us a whole tub of them. Because if they run out, they run out. They don't remake them anymore. Lucky three. So much good food in there. So much variety. The hangover cure, that was delicious. We got dinner and midnight snack covered. For nights. For yeah. nights. Hopefully that shows you that there's a lot of options when it comes to food in Vegas. You have vegan, you have Asian, you have fast food, you have everything. All right, now we have the rest of the night to explore. Let's go. It feels like I'm in Poké Heaven smelling all this food. Thank you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it. Dude, the staff is so nice. <laughs> yeah, so, so it's a family-owned business. So literally the mom, dad, and sons all work here. I've never been served sushi, fish, poke, type of stuff by Hawaiian family, so I'm really looking forward to this. I think this is as fresh as it gets. Actually, if you go to Hawaii, it'll be fresher. Oh, you're right. But this is Vegas, you can't complain. Vegas is the eighth island, that's what they say. When we were filming for our last video, I think my stomach was growing. Was it mine or yours? I think it was yours. I heard somebody's. I know. Okay, that time wasn't me. Off the camera, but... <laughs> I thought it was Nina. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Mm. So far, a few of the places we ate off the strip have been very good. So I'm very glad we branched out off the strip to come to a place like this. Like, ooh, what is in here? So there's no Naruto in here, but it has all the essentials. Mmm, the noodles are super soft. It's delicious. $8 bowl of ramen. I like this a lot. Mmm. That's $8. Mm -hmm. That's actually amazing. It's only $8. Time to drink some soup. The soup is so good. Like, I could just pick up the bowl and drink the whole thing. Yum. This place has Hawaiian food, Japanese food, and Korean food. This is Korean chicken bowl. They actually eat a lot of Korean fried chicken in Hawaii, too. Mmm. You immediately taste the sweetness. It's so good. Mmm. You see that sunset behind me? I'm just imagining I'm on a Hawaii island right now. Enjoying a meal served by a Hawaiian family. It's pretty rare to find a place that serves fusion food and do it well. I would say this Korean chicken dish is definitely the outlier and I did a pretty darn good job with it. I love shrimp, I love garlic. So this garlic shrimp, I'm so excited for. Oh, there's a lot of garlic in here. When you open the cover, you smell all the garlic. My breath is gonna smell amazing. Mm, soft shrimp, you taste the garlic. It's not like too overpowering. They don't add like extra salt in here. So you just taste the shrimp flavors and the garlic. My brain kind of works funny. It's like every time we're in a desert, I feel like I shouldn't be eating fish. Like this would be a luxury, like seafood. It's garlicky. And I think the freshness of the shrimp gives a little sweetness to it too. But I think like main side is very simple. Garlic, fresh shrimp, it tastes really good. Transitioning to the Korean chicken fries. It's like the other one, except it's on fries with different sauce. Oh, there's chicken in there? Yeah. Oh. Oh, I know you'll love this. I will. Mm. This is kind of the spot that I wish they have around my work. Because I'll go in and I'll just order different things each mm. day. And I wish it's the same price too. So we just learned that. Oh, so good. We just learned that this place is actually really close by to a university. So a lot of college students come in here and eat. I think I have a taste palette of a college student. And like you have very savory, funny yeast stuff. And you have very healthy poke bowl. When the chef is like, oh, we have this, we have that, yeah. we have this and that. I get more excited at every item they list. When was the last time I had a sushi burrito? I remember in 2014, during our trip to Las Vegas, and California, we had a sushi burrito too. That might be the last time I had it. I'm so excited for this one. It's pretty fat. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of meat in here. They do not cheap out on their meat. Our fish is good. I'm dunking with my mouth full. I'll shut up. You okay? Get some. One more bite. 
Oh, so good. I love a regular Mexican burrito, but this cold, fresh, whole okay burrito, <laughs> as the Hawaiians would say it. I'm so, so, so excited for this one. I haven't even eaten it yet, but I think it's gonna be my favorite dish. Just looking at it, look at all the ingredients, the sauce, the colors. Come in. So there's roe, there's avocado, edamame, corn, cucumbers, radish, a daikon, jalapeno, crab meat. Like, it's like a whole ice cream scoop of crab meat. A whole ice cream scoop of tuna on a little bit of rice. All right, let's go. You make mm. a burrito in your mouth? Mm-hmm. Party in my mouth. And Ming is absolutely right because they're super generous with their portion, with the proteins especially. I had a chance to go back to the kitchen and little scoops after scoops after scoops. <laughs> and it's like full scoops. It's not that hollow ice cream that you get in your ice cream store. Mm, wow, it's so amazing that like protein that taste this fresh and lean and cooling so good. Honestly, I honestly don't have one thing I don't like about this place. Same. And the customer service. Ooh. They're such a cute family. You know what? I'm going back to it. It's not like it has like all the extra frills that other ramen shops have. It has all you need. You have a good broth, a good ramen, and the meat. That's it. This place has everything right. Look at this. This is dessert. Mochi ice cream. Bro. It's like they designed a restaurant for us. Oh. Oh. We got mango, strawberry, oh. and ube mochi ice cream. Mm. Wow, finish strong. Holy moly. Thank you. Oh. Thank you so much. Thank you. Guys, okay? Thank you. I'll see you. Have a really nice Thank you. Thank I thoroughly enjoyed that dinner and we have food for the next day and tonight. They have the cutest family. It's like straight up a family out of a Disney movie. They're so sweet, the J family. Yeah, so be sure to check them out next time you're in Vegas. It's also right by a college town, so I'm sure it's like a college student favorite place to go to as it well. It would be my favorite. It would be. What would be the equivalent of this in New York? Buffalo Wild Wings. No, I'm just No. Be sure to check them out next time you're in Vegas. Peace.